Okay, as promised, we'll talk about off-grid knives and gear, tactical Tonto Flipper. Now this is the assisted model, and you can actually get this on Amazon.com. Now if you go to off-grid knives and gear, and you look at their website, it'll actually send you via a link to order it off of Amazon. That way you can get it with your Amazon two-day free shipping if you're a Prime member, or it helps... Uh, stock everything and get it across the country faster with the Amazon warehouses. Now this knife retails for less than $30. They did have it on sale. Um, and I have an interesting story about this knife. I was looking at knives online, as I do daily. That's kind of uh, disturbing. But I do collect, so I'm always looking. And I came across an ad that uh, popped up on my Amazon feed and said, take a look at this knife. And of course, after I took a look at it, I thought, well, uh, there was a coupon on it, and I get free two-day shipping, so why not? It can't hurt. And I ordered one. Now, this is actually the first one I got in. Um, it does have a hair shy of three inches on the blade, and that is so that it can be an EDC in most states in the United States. Now, Texas, we don't really have to worry about length. On a blade, we can have things that are uh, outlandish up to five and a half inches, um, but some states you have to stay under three. This knife achieves that. Now, this is the one I got in, as I said. There were things that I was unhappy with about the knife. For example, you'll notice that I took off the glass break off the bottom of this knife. That's because the one I received, it was crooked, it was offset. Now, do I like glass breaks on the bottom of my knives? Not necessarily, but I really don't like them whenever they're crooked. So I took it off. Um, also, when I got the knife, I did have the complaint that it needed to be oiled. Um, it needed to be cleaned because from the process of uh, putting on the G10 scales, there was debris all inside the knife. Um, I went on and did a review, as I do on things that I purchase, and to my surprise, within a matter of hours, the owner-operator of Off Grid Knives contacted me and uh, volunteered to send me a second knife to prove that I got a fluke, and uh, I did. Uh, although the one I received was a, a good knife, uh, the second one they sent came, it was cleaned, it was pristine, I actually myself went ahead and as I did with the first one I did remove the glass break because of the way I carry it. I'd also mention to them that I like the tip up on this one on this style so that when you pull the knife from your pocket you simply flip it open. As you can see the first one is tipped down. They actually sent it to me tip up. So they went in and took the time to actually put the clip on for me uh, because I was having some issues getting the screws out of this frame. It's because uh, the little hex screwdriver I had, I just couldn't get enough torque. I didn't want to strip them out. They were kind enough to actually send it to me, tip up. This one was clean, and if you see, it was oiled very well. Uh, both of these are fantastic knives, and I will tell you, the G10 scales on this thing are very good. They're very grippy, and what I mean by that is, if it's wet outside and you're having an EDC that you're going to use as a self-defense knife, you don't want to have any slippage. This knife is not going to slip on you. It's got jimping on the back of the frame. It's also got a little bit of jimping on top of the blade. It is an assist open. It is a flipper style. It is a uh, Tanto blade design. Uh, the grind on it's pretty cool. It's AUS 8 steel. So to me that's always a beautiful steel uh, it is a liner lock and the lockup on these both of them the lockup is really good I mean I don't get any play on this knife so for less than thirty dollars fantastic knives um, something like this if you were to get a, a domestic brand of course you're gonna spend probably uh, eighty to a hundred dollars if you're wanting an EDC that uh, you won't be heartbroken if uh, by chance you lose it and you can replace it. Well, you can do like that. And if you're going to spend $80, you could pretty much almost get three of them. 
uh, or you could get two of these and then of course get their self-defense pin that I have that I reviewed in one of my earlier reviews um, carrying this knife now this is the one I usually carry I did put it back in the box for the uh, to, to do the presentation on it but you can see the glass break right here does screw in um, not a huge fan of having that stick out of my pocket so of course I removed it uh, if I wanted to flip the pocket clip to either side tip up or tip down they give you the tool for it um, like I said to my amazement the owner sent it to me the way I requested it and didn't charge me anything and so they got the product right if you're wanting to get an inexpensive EDC I really do recommend the off-grid knives tactical Tonto assisted flipper look at it on amazon.com catch it on sale and do yourself a favor grab two get one for yourself and one is a gift you can't go wrong um, next time I'll have a review on a mystery knife that comes in a brown box what what comes in a brown box nowadays uh, I'll tell you this it's an old school design but it's a new knife so look forward to that have a fantastic day and happy hunting get yourself a good deal thank you